today I have part three of my Best in Beauty 2015. This is the last of uh, 2015 favorites that I do have. And of course, this is all about Xylips. Xylips. This is the year where I've really branched out and tried a lot of lip products. I've never really done that before, but I am so happy that I have because I have found some really good lines this year, really good companies, really good formulas that I wanted to share with you guys. Heads up, this may seem redundant when I do my top 20 lipsticks of all time because a lot of these have made it to that. So um, if you're curious to see what a favorite lip products I found in 2015, just stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with the inexpensive ones first. The first line that really I absolutely loved and I, I wouldn't stop wearing them in the summertime, it's the Maybelline Color Blur line. This line, I wore it in, I, I told you guys when I did the whole review on these, I wore it in the most humid climate, the hottest day, out in the sun all day, and these impressed me so well nothing all over my face it didn't run everywhere the color stayed the color did not go anywhere i ate like a pig and it was so comfortable on my lips this line is the one that twists up like this it has that color blur thing none of them have i used that little eraser i just use these opaque they are so opaque so comfortable on the lips and so velvety creamy but they're completely matte this is very inexpensive at the drugstore i love this line this was the this was the beginning of me being infatuated with lip products in 2015. next line that i love i love 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 love, love is the milani matte line they are under five bucks and they came out with so many different colors for everyone to appreciate and to wear they came out with the nudist nudes to the deepest dark colors and every single lipstick in this line has the same formula i have not found one that is patchy they even changed the scent to those that didn't like that sweet scent which i personally like the sweet scent better than vanilla in general but i'm okay with it i've always loved milani milani always gets it right with things i don't know what they have what kind of scientists they have some mad scientists over there that really knows how to get it right for the majority of the time but this line just the matte lines that they came out with this past year amazing and so inexpensive so if you don't want to spend something too high end and then you want it to be matte those are so so good Another line that I found, this was just a out of the whim, let me see how these are, is the Sephora matte line. Oh, I was so impressed with these. I find that these are pretty inexpensive and they are very comfortable, super opaque. I know a few of you guys have um, requested for me to do my collection of the, these lip products and lip swatches, which will be coming soon. But this line is really good. It stays on. It's not drying. It's, it's not running. I don't need to wear a lip liner with it. Very comfortable. Doesn't have a funky scent to them. They have so many colors for everyone and very, very cheap. I love this line. This really stood out to me this year. The last of the cheapies of the cheapies is ColourPop. ColourPop came out with sheer lip products and these I rave and rave and hollered about. You guys remember them. These I still have two in my purse that I continuously use. I love the sheer ones. They're five bucks. I didn't want to spend, I don't like to spend a lot of money on a sheer lipstick unless it's like awesome. And ColourPop finally came out. They came out with a nice color range where it was nice for everyone to the point. And I loved the formula. They did not ruin the formula. You can build them up. You can wear them sheer. They're good for every age. Great uh, price and the colors. I just love the color. So that really stood out to me. And then their ColourPop lippies in general. Before 2015, all that I ever purchased from ColourPop was their eyeshadows. And I'm still obsessed with their eyeshadows. But I finally bit the bullet and bought the lippies. I'm so glad I did. This is just Frenchy. This is one of my favorites. It's from their beginning permanent lines. This is a matte red. And I said it and I've said it over and over again. If you are new 
to lip products and you are afraid of what formula, what finish, and what color would go well with you, ColourPop is the way to go. They're five bucks. Five dollars. So if you don't like something, you just spend five dollars. So you know that you're not going to buy that color or that finish in something that's more high end like a MAC or a NARS or an Urban Decay. I always say that about these and but every time I wear one every time I purchase one of these they never disappoint I cannot tell you how much I love this company first in 2014 it was their eyeshadows now in 2015 it's their lip products I don't know what they have in store for 2016 but let me tell you they are so good I love that company and they have no idea who I am I've purchased everything with my own money so that's just to tell you guys how much I love them. Now on to higher end. This year was all about the matte lip products, so I have quite a few of them here. The first one I wanna show you guys is the Ofra line. I owned an Ofra liquid lipstick about two years ago in the color Hollywood. I got it in a subscription box and I really enjoyed it then, but I was not about to pay $19 for another lip product. Back then, I was not about the lip products so when um, they started to grow they got a bunch of coupons 40% off 30% off that's when I took advantage and I have not looked back since I am currently wearing a one in general I'm there's no particular color that I can say that has just stood out to me it's the line in general that I absolutely love this one's just Manhattan this is what I'm wearing on my lips their formula is awesome I've worn this already for quite a few hours I don't have the ring inside my lips. I don't feel like I'm super dry and I'm constantly talking and it has not faded at all. I don't have a lip liner on. This doesn't run. This doesn't make my lips look super pruney and I can really wear this and feel comfortable. I love their line. I love the scent of these. Some people may not like the sweet scent, but this is a really good formula and you can get 40% off, 30% off. They've even done 50% off for Black Friday and they have so many colors. My collection of these have grown and I absolutely love that this really stood out to me in 2015. Another uh, liquid lip that I just recently came across in the end of October, November and I love them they only have four colors i wish that they could expand their line i own three out of the four colors and i can tell you that they all are awesome and that is the black moon line this is a uh, libra oh, this is another comfortable formula it lasts i've worn this this is a beautiful nude. Now these type of nudes are my jam. I love nudes that are, have brown to them. I love nudes that have peach to them. I'm not a nude person that has pink undertones. It just doesn't go well with me. So this nude really, really flatters my skin tone. I love this formula. The packaging is awesome. I love their little logo that they have on here. And these, they're a little bit up there. They're in the $19 range, but they're worth it they have four colors again i own three the formula is awesome another lip liquid lip company that ugh, i have gone crazy buying their lip colors because you know i'm not afraid of color is dose of colors ugh, this you've seen it in the favorites i can't tell you guys why I waited so long to try these. This one is Truffle, one of my favorites. I don't know why I waited so long to try these. I will tell you though with this line, the darker uh, colors like Bury Me and um, the limited edition colors that I wore, I even went as far as buying limited edition ones. They do still transfer a little bit on me, but they don't flake off like I've heard people say that they flake off. I don't know if I'm doing something different or my lips are just different from other people and that's why it doesn't do it. But these don't flake off on me. They don't um, like break apart. They don't crack. They are still comfortable. I have worn them through heavy meals. I've had like fish tacos i've worn these through a thanksgiving dinner is the one this one i wore so these are legit liquid lips but they are so comfortable very worth it and again i love the packaging i am officially a fan of these and i will i think i don't own i own all but like three that's how much i love them
Next and final liquid lipstick that I'm going to show you this year. It's just the company again that I have fallen in love with and that is Jeffree Star. I don't know why I waited so long. This one is just Unicorn Blood. But this one is not as moussey of a texture as I would say Dose of Colors or um, Black Moon or even Ofra. These are a little bit more of a runnier formula. So they take a little bit longer to dry, but they're so comfortable. It's hard to get a thin consistency and not make it feel like paper on your lips and Jeffree Star did it. I am up to five of these and I am so mad at myself that I caught on at the tail end of this year and finding these because I'm sure he has come out with so many different colors that were limited edition that I didn't get a chance to try. But if you haven't tried Jeffree Star, the, this color or this line in general is so good. You've heard a few of my friends talk about Celebrity Skin. I also own that as well. Very, very flattering nude very comfortable you can top these off with a lip gloss and you're fine as well and these are vegan and cruelty free for those that are into that these will be your bffs the last two lipstick are oh well one is matte one is just a regular but it can be a matte because it lasts so long the first one is the urban decay matte lipsticks these oh this one is in um what are you this one's in Stark Naked. <clears throat> oh my goodness, this started it all. Again, this is another flattering nude on me. I love it. I love the formula. I love the staying power. I love the packaging of these. The Naked, I know that people have issues with the regular line because it runs everywhere. These are so comfortable, so comfortable. They did such a good job with these. And I own them all because I love the feeling of them. I even purchased the darkest of dark ones because I loved it so much and my sister was the one that convinced me to get it because she has it and loves it so that's a lot to say because I really don't wear that color often but it's such a good formula that I absolutely love these so if you haven't checked the Urban Decay matte lipsticks you really should last but not least I when these first came out I'm like I am not paying that type of money for a lipstick ever I'm like, ah, oh, I don't care. It could do wonders. <sighs> and now I am up to over 10 of these. <sighs> I'm so embarrassed to say that, but these are so, so good. It's the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I never thought I would own any of these. This one is just in Vivian, which is a, a NARS exclusive, but these. I can still tell you to this day, whenever my sister wears Anna, the one I purchased for her, she still calls me and says, I cannot get over the formula. It stays. It didn't make my mouth dry. It didn't make my lips dry. I ate and it still stayed on my lips. Like she loves them. She's the one that made me say, you know what? Fine. I bought you one. Let me buy myself one. And then I went crazy. This line, do yourselves a favor. Wait till there's a sale and just get one and you're gonna see what everyone's raving about because I was the same way I was like I'm not buying them everyone's saying it's like the next thing it's amazing they're awesome and I kept telling myself nope I'm not spending that type of money on a lipstick and now I know what everyone was talking about the hype is real on these I love them I love them so that is it for my 2015 top lipsticks favorites of this year that I have discovered. I'm sure there are many, many more out there that I could have stated, but these are the ones that really stood out to me, the ones that I kept going back and purchasing more colors of because they just were so good amazing i love them thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel welcome to the family don't forget to subscribe like this video if you did like it thank you guys always for all of your support i know that this is all about lipsticks but i really wanted to tell you guys that i have one app that i'm going to add towards the end now i have one more thing that has been my favor for 2015 and it's an app and that is snapchat i completely have been obsessed with it I have met so many of you guys through there. You guys are so sweet. I have had the sweetest, most comment or snaps that you guys have sent me that have brought tears to my eyes because you guys tell me that 
watching my videos have made you guys just forget about either your struggle, your illnesses, what happened during the day. And that just this make that's what makes this worth it for me. This is not only my getaway from my everyday life and struggles and everything that I go through, but it's also somewhere where I can share with you guys and I it's a, a place of relaxation and girl time and I love that because it's so hard for me to find girl time in my personal life everyone is either so busy with their lives and I'm busy with my kids and my family and I get that so this is my time this is my girls time and I love that I love the fact that I can be more close to you guys see you guys can see me in my everyday life what I do the boring stuff that I do uh, my work um the things that i go through on a daily basis i'm just like you i bleed the same blood as you guys so it's just a, such an amazing app i i've known about this for a long time this app but the people that told me about this app were telling me that people were snapping each other naked pictures and i'm like i'm not doing that it took me a year to understand what it meant and then i finally downloaded it and i'm so glad because i've never looked look back it's just a great great app so i'm happy to say that that has been my number one app for 2015 because I've gotten closer to you guys. I've seen you guys in real time. Like I can put faces to my subscribers now. So uh, if you ha if you don't follow me, you can follow me on Snapchat. I ha I'll have it here. It's One Beauty Addict. Even if you don't want to snap, you can just watch people snap. So don't feel like people are going to look for you. You can just have it to watch other people snap because that's what I did at first. I didn't snap. I just watched people to see how they get the hang of it. And then I started to snap. So that's just the thought, just like Instagram. You don't have to post anything, but you can have it just to see people. Thank you again for all of your love and all of your support for 2015. I'm so excited about 2016. I'm sure I'm probably already almost in February by the time this video goes up. And you guys rock. You guys are amazing and I love you guys all to death. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say it enough. Don't forget guys that a smile is always the best makeup a girl can wear.